Oh, here we go. Another day, another dollar. I actually had no intention on filming today. But y'all remember when I picked up this camera right here? Looking all beautiful. Well, I ordered a battery for it. And it's finally all charged up. And I just couldn't wait to see if this thing will work. How I'm hoping that it does. But first, I need to go see my plug for a pretty decent pickup. Well, I say but first, but I'm actually using the camera right now. And the only thing about this is that it could really, it could sound really bad. Bad, or it could sound really good right now. It looks like I'm really dark, but I have no idea how to change the the like the the lighting and then this. But hopefully, I look and sound good. The goods. There's your Sony's. All your Sony's. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come walk you in here. We do our grand opening tomorrow, but you can come look at the assistants that they got. Okay. Hi. Hello. How you good. How are you? Good. Oh, look at this. Wow, huh? Figured I'd show you it all while we're setting it all up. This is dope. And you're opening up tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's our grand opening. What's your new hours here? Um, 10 to 3. 10 to 3. Look at the little pup. All right, nine weeks old. Beautiful. <laughs> Boy or girl? Boy, moose. Moose. I love it. <laughs> hey, I wasn't expecting that. Shout out to my plug for showing me a sneak peek of a new thrift store that's about to open up. I saw that I had what I think is a 360 for $30. If it was a Xbox One, that would be really good. But a, a, a 360 is not great. I mean, it's not bad, That's to be honest. A 360 for $30 is not bad. For reselling, ah, it's not that great because 360s don't really sell well. Uh, so I think at most I pay like $15 at this point for a 360. $20 like max. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. We got to take this SD card. Oh gosh. All right, so we're just going to click the most recent one and see what the sound is like like y'all also get look you get a behind the scenes of what it's like to film hey i wasn't expecting <laughs> the qual look at the quality though it looks really good hey i wasn't expecting that shout out to my plug for showing me a little sneak peek of the new sound though hmm. so i don't love the sound on it it's not bad it's not bad but it, it, it needs some type of filter i think i need to get like a dead cat or something like that just to filter it up it sounds a little i don't I, I, scratchy is that the right word so i told y'all before i was working with my sister to organize my uh my spot and we came up with this idea more so her that we should set up the rack that i have there and get bins oh the bins are right here so the plan was to use colored bins to put in like say okay so boom this is a blue bin so for blue would be playstation so i'd put all the playstation controllers in this blue bin problem i'm running into right now is that this bin is deep i like the depth of it depth is that the right word but the the length my my racks are 14 inches deep this looks about maybe 11 10 11 mm, i don't know and their selection doesn't look to be very uh varied i guess they all look about the same length the deepness i don't know what you would they all look about the same looks like we're gonna have to go to the internet for this one so i made a mistake I either mislabeled something or or didn't. I don't honestly, I can't tell. I don't know what I did. This game right here, My Sims Kingdom Nintendo Wii 349BO. So BO means it's a buyout game. And 349 is supposed to be right here. But this is not My Sims for the Nintendo Wii. Now, see, I flipped through every single game in my inventory system, and I, I just can't find it. The only possibility is that I these are like bundles that I put up on uh, for auction, and I think I might have put some up for uh, just like uh, bundle sales. You can see this is part of one giant stack. And I have a couple of those. Here goes another one right here. So my thinking is that maybe I included it in one of those bundle deals by accident. But unfortunately, I don't have the time to go through it right now because my girlfriend is on her way. So it's looking like, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cancel that order because it's due to go out today and I just don't have time to look for it. And I'm just going to have to go through my entire inventory system of like over 300 games. Well, some games sold, so it's not exactly 300 anymore or it's not it's not this number anymore but it's still gonna suck to have to do regardless we got a pretty light day today four orders 37 dollars and 83 cents the first one we sold is like right it's like a newbie listed game 378 this is power rangers dino thunder dino thunder yeah power rangers dino thunder and dude the dude the person um ordered this yesterday i think um and they dm'd me today earlier today and was like i don't got a shipping number or i, I don't i don't got shipping confirmation i'm like 
That's because I ain't shipping yet, bro. Let me give me a chance. But this sold for $4.90 and this was not part of the buyout. This next one is right here. SSX for the PS2 complete. This sold for $4.90. This was part of the buyout. We got back $3.57 to knock off of the buyout total. Oh, by the way, if y'all can't tell by now, I decided that I'm not going to use the other camera. The sound quality just doesn't do it for me. The, the Sony ZV-1 beats out all. Luckily though, that that thing is worth about the same amount as a ZV-1. So I'm just gonna sell that, use that money to get the ZV-1. I tried, dude. I really, really tried. I gave a bunch of different cameras uh, the, the time of day, you know what I'm saying? I gave them the opportunity, the chance to shine, and they just they just failed me. They wasn't meeting up to par. I sold uh, Modern Warfare 3 for the PS3. This one's a little, look, you can see that it's kind of like messed up a little bit. Um, This one went under the cracks. It sold for $2.90 plus shipping, not part of the buyout. Yeah, the ZV-1 is just unbeatable. It's too good. If you guys are into the, if you like it, vlogs or honestly streaming, filming, anything, the ZV-1 is a very affordable kit. Buy it in the aftermarket though, because new is like $700, but in the aftermarket is way cheaper than that. I sold um, CSI Miami for a $4.90 plus shipping and I got back $3.77 after taxes and fees because this was part of the buyout. ZV-1 is like the best, most affordable camera for content creators. Look into it. Oh yeah. I just finally finished editing the vlog or the what sold vlog whatever you want to call it that's the video that's two videos before this one so not the last one the one before that one and now i need to take everything that i listed last night including this camera put it in this bucket and bring it over to the storage unit and of course pull orders while i'm there also big shout out to the subscriber that told me about this stuff the meg <laughs> ultra cut compound i got this and the ultra finishing polish and they work beautifully at some point today this week or something like that i want to work I, i'm an amazon influencer so i really want to get that amazon influencer affiliate link situation figured out i really thoroughly legitimately love making content and i really appreciate every single one of you that tune into my videos and enjoy them watch them like them comment all that good stuff just the fact that you're watching it thank you so freaking much what i don't enjoy is this new england weather i'm wearing a hoodie because it was freezing in my house but as soon as i come out outside why does it feel like scorching summer heat so i'm just pulling up to my storage unit and i completely forgot that yesterday key left tomorrow key some work to do and now i'm just cursing out yesterday key man why you do that to me and i just remembered that i lost that game so i gotta go through each one of my wii games especially the bundles that i have put together and see if i can find that sims game i just came here to drop some stuff off pack my orders and go but it's looking like we got work to do boom look at that right here my sims kingdom for the wii i accidentally put it as part of another bundle since this was a four pack bundle that took over this legit entire box i'm just gonna take this whole thing out do some consolidating and then fit this box back in question for my reselling homies that use this system how often do y'all consolidate because i just consolidated and opened up three boxes all right everything's all nicely neat and put away including the stuff that i just listed last night i was thinking i was gonna have to move all of my consoles over make some more but i already made a box thinking that that was gonna have to be the play but really all i needed to do was consolidate this is literally the best system ever and i bought the wires over here for the different consoles and uh, xbox accessories apparently but I, and i don't exactly know why honestly i just wanted them out and in, in here i still don't even have this box set up i do still need to get some whoa wait a minute if this <gasps> Dude, wait, this is a perfect fit. Look at this, 14 inches exactly. It's deep enough to where I can get a bunch of wires and controllers in here. Like not and in the same bin, but like if I get a bunch of these, oh, this is perfect. But of course there's no labeling of any kind on it. Only thing I know is that it's Sterlite or Sterilite. I don't know the name of the brand, but it doesn't tell me what size it is. I know it's 14 inches wide, long length, whatever. Bro, I need more of those look i can i know i can fit at least three can i fit four mm, four might be a stretch dang dude i definitely need more of those I, i'm gonna i'm gonna have to do some research and figure out what bins those are but for now we got eight orders for 185 dollars and 83 cents now that number is a little inflated because for the first time in a long time dude i'm noticing like a very 
slower lack of i don't know but i'm not selling as many consoles as i used to i sold this og xbox for 89.90 plus shipping i used to sell a lot a lot more consoles but nowadays i'm selling mostly those little five dollar ten dollar fifteen dollar games very very weird hmm since this video is two videos ahead of the video that i just finished editing i don't know where we are in terms of my whole journey on paying myself back but i sold rise for 490 plus shipping this was part of the buyout so i don't know if i already broke even or not but if we did then it's 349 in the profit if it's not then it's 349 that goes towards that cost i'm just so backed up because of time i'm juggling two youtube channels a part-time job doing this for selling Resident Evil 2 for PS4 for 990 plus ship, and this wasn't part of the buyout. And trying to get the Softlock Games home base all in order. It's, it's, I need more time. We need at least 48 hours in a day. I don't know what the point of daylight savings time is. I ain't graduate. So somebody that did can let me know in the comments. That would be great. But I think that needs to make time go back like four or six hours or something like that. I sold this game for $3. No, I sold, it's number 392. I sold it for $6 dollars and 90 cents and after taxes and fees this is a buyout game i got back five dollars and 33 cents to either add to the profits or knock off of our total oh wow this is pretty crazy this game sold quick oh, i think it's back here uh, yep here it goes right here 24 this game sold really fast no manual and it's got all these stickers all over it it sold for three dollars and 90 cents this is not part of the buyout but that's the second 24 that i sold for a ps2 i don't know if it's out for any other console but this is the second 24 that i sold for a ps PS2 in like the past week or two something like and they sell fast so I don't know if you see this game out in the wild pick it up it doesn't go for a lot but it goes quick every time I gotta grab this stool I think about how I should have just spent the $23 at Walmart because the seven dollars that I spent on this just don't go up high enough I need to find number 60 oh wait number 64 let's go this is actually pretty cool so this is Jack 2 it sold for how much 690 plus shipping this is a buyout game I got back five dollars and fifteen cents to go towards the profit or the uh cost this game actually sold to somebody called playstation nostalgia that's really cool i don't know what they are who they are but that's really cool oh yeah so i got this camera and a yard sale pickup one of my plugs through a yard sale and i got like a giant bin of cameras for 20 dollars. and at first i threw it in my swap meet bin because i didn't think it was like worth a lot but come to find out i looked up the wrong one something told me to double check and look again very recently come to find out this camera's worth like 80 to 100 dollars so i bought a charger and it came today and i brought it with me because i'm like a kid in the candy store i hooked it up to my little generator now i want to check it out hopefully this thing works it's not to keep i'm i'm we're going we're, i'm getting the zv1 the sony zv1 i don't want any other camera now because oh it's got lights on it and stuff wait what does that say set date and time no is it touch screen it's not touch. hold on wait a second okay i'm definitely right-handed but how do i set date and time like where's the uh it was the ups and downs. Is it these things? Dude, let's go! This is the, the JVC Averio GZ MS230BU. And it freaking works! Oh my goodness, that is so hype. I'm listing this today. Ah! so far my track records with cameras let me not even jinx myself i'm really loving digital cameras though we got another game that slipped through the cracks this is not a oh hold on this thing is kind of yo what's going on <laughs> stuck you don't want to go come on i can't keep you this is rage and this sold for 290 plus shipping it's not part of the buyout dang dude that really got me juiced up the fact that that works i'm looking for 393 this is a uh grand theft auto here it goes right here we sold this for 490 plus shipping I, I don't even think this has a manual but it was part of the buyout and we got back three dollars and 66 cents to add to either the profit or to the knock down that overall cost that whole camera situation got me juiced right now and i high key want to go to a thrift store to see if i could find any more but i can't because i really want to look at some bins oh it's the next day by the way I 
I really had to come and see for myself what the bins were looking like. And bro, it looks like they only have one, legit one, but peep. So this is, what is this? 17 by 11, I don't know. This, <laughs> But this looks like the size of the one that I already have. Wait, is this, oh, this actually isn't even Sterilite. Is the one I saw online Sterilite? I don't know, but hmm, wait, there's another aisle full of more storage stuff i was thinking about getting something like this for the the storage um the bubble mailers and stuff like that but not right now at the moment i don't i don't really need this the most important thing is finding storage for the like the controllers and the wires and stuff like that oh this is very interesting what about this it looks to be about does it tell you the length so 12 inches in length actually you know it's only two inches off from like what my shelves can handle and how wide is it eight or er, 12 oh 12 inches in width that means i can only fit maybe two maybe three i do kind of like these though especially because you can just see inside of them i'm still going to put a label on it to be able to tell which which i can just look real quick oh boom that's ps1 controller boom boom but you can see inside of it it's the the depth of it is nice the length of it 12 12 inches is all right it's smooth but the width is just mm. oh hold on wait a minute that price too 12 dollars each hold up now y'all i done found the mother load of them here we go but the c these are, where's it at? Right here. 17 and a quarter by 11 and 7 eighths. This is really specific. But they're basically 12 inches wide. And the thing is 36 inches wide. And then before I got six inch wide boxes and I could only fit five, which is 30. So I know I'm not going to be able to fit three of those. Oh, I can only fit two. Uh, only three dollars and fifty cents though, so I'm gonna buy three of them and test it out. I mean, worst case, I can just return it, right? <laughs> okay, we are at Softlock Games headquarters, and we have our bucket. Now it is time for the moment of truth. Will we be able to fit three? Nope, nope, nope. It ain't three. Three? I don't. It ain't. Oh, here goes two. Uh, wait, wait. Oh no! Come on, baby. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, it works. It like okay. Imagine they're all like fit. See, they like just fit. Now imagine they're all filled, right? Oh, I need to get into this bucket. I don't think that these will move if they're like really filled. But I don't know, man. Look, it like see this one here is skinnier, right? You think so? Yeah, this one is skinnier by like. A little bit. I need three of this one, whatever this is. And look, it's even deeper. Look at that. I'm gonna return those bucket. I'm getting my money back. I don't care. It was like three fifty, three, three, like ten dollars and some change, something like that. I'm still getting my money back. Today we got nine orders for four hundred eighty-four dollars and seventy-six cents. But there's a real suspect order in there. But I'm gonna tell y'all about it when we get to it. But first, we have to pull an order thirty. Oh, it's gonna be here. Oh gosh. Okay, can I do this with one hand? The hardest part about this inventory system is pulling games with one hand. Here we go. One thirty-one. We sold Call of Duty Ghost for the PS4. This is actually like the worst Call of, Duty, in my opinion, the worst Call of Duty game. But we sold this for $19.90 plus shipping. Speaking of, yo, shout out to my Call of Duty gamers, dude. We about to get another game. Modern Warfare 3 is coming out. And so we're in we're at the end of September right now. So in two months in November, it's coming out. And we're getting all of the Modern Warfare 2 maps. I'm talking about Afghanistan, Airport, Rust, all of them. Oh my, I cannot wait. Modern Warfare 2 was the very first online game I've ever played in my life. And the very first Call of Duty duty game i ever played so i am so hyped for this now why did they put modern warfare 2 maps on modern warfare 3 and not modern warfare 2 that just came out that nobody knows it doesn't make any sense this sold for 990 plus shipping I, I don't ask questions yeah honestly it doesn't make any sense to me why they did it that way but i cannot wait to be able to play that game and it's crazy because i always get every single call of duty all of them and i always go for like the ultimate skin try to get gold weapon on every single one you know what you but it, it just takes too much i go for it every time but it just takes too much time and i always give up and never accomplish it i sold star wars clone wars for 690 plus shipping this was part of the buyout and again i still don't do i'm two videos ahead so i literally just dropped the second to last video last night i think it was or the night before or something like that and so i don't know where we are on the buyout i don't know if it's if i'm in profit or not but we got what is it five dollars and 39 cents to either 
add to the profit or knock off the buyout total. Okay, so here's the sale that I said was super suspect right here. Sold comps were kind of all over the place. So I listed this camera for $350 with best offer turned on. I legit never ever use best offer, but I was like, you know what? Like I got this camera for $120. If somebody offers me like 250 or something like that, honestly, I'll take it. I had no minimum set to my best offer, but somebody bought it outright, which is dope. And they paid immediately, which is dope. The problem is that this person also created their account that same exact day, yesterday. This sold yesterday. They created their account yesterday and bought it yesterday. And they had no feedback, nothing. I, sus, I don't know. And I went and looked at the address. You know, a little creepy. I went and looked at the address and it went to, a, I don't really want to say where it went to, but like it went to a, a, like a, not a real estate building, but like kind of like a, uh, uh, a commercial building. It went to, it's going to a commercial building. I do watch J-Ride flip. So it could be some kind of contract or a commercial worker or something like that, that bought the camera outright. Didn't want to like go back and forth. They had the budget for it. Or it could be a scammer of some sort. I don't know, but this did sell for $350. And when that camera sold, I almost immediately made a purchase that I'll talk more about when it gets here on most likely the next vlog. But when I did that, it made me do a real deep dive into my finances. And dude, I'm honest, Honestly, I'm, I've been spending way too much money between sourcing inventory that I honestly haven't even listed yet. Like I can't remember the last time I actually had a death pile, but I'm building up a death pile. Plural actually, multiple death piles. That last video that I just put out on my main channel where I got like 70 games, a couple of consoles. I listed a couple of games out of that 70 pack, but none of the consoles, a good majority of the games is still unlisted. And I bought another collection. <laughs> Not to mention all of the investing I've been doing into this storage unit itself. Wow, I don't know if I underpriced this game or what. Maybe I should go back and look at the margins again, but oh, it's not even, I didn't even put it away yet. Here we go. My Sims Kingdom literally just listed this last night and it sold again for $4.90 plus shipping and it's part of the buyout. I got back $3.52 for this. I don't know if that's the same buyer as the one that I had to unfortunately cancel on, but it just sold twice like that. So yeah, I need to take a step back and stop doing all the purchases. Is I think it's really important to go out and make sure that you're constantly, consistently sourcing. Make sure that you're doing it adequately and smartly, though. It's definitely a rush when you go out and you see these deals or you see you come across like a Facebook marketplace or your, your plug hits. That's one of my biggest things. When my plug hits me up, I never want to tell them no. I'll be like, yep, I'm coming to cop. Yep, I'm coming to cop every single time. They always held me down with the dopest deals. But at some point, we also need to take responsibility with the finances that we have so that we can grow the business and not kind of be on this center line where we're selling but spending selling but spending it also doesn't help that i watch a ton of other that's all i do is just watch like reselling youtube i watch a ton of other creators come up on these crazy deals and steals and i get hype i get juiced up i'm like oh i want to go i go up on face i want to look on facebook marketplace i want to see what i can find i sold um what is this sin cardinal sin for the ps1 for 990 plus shipping and this was part of the buyout i got back seven dollars and 97 cents to either add to the profit or knock off the buyout purchase but dude watching other people come up makes me want to i get hyped for them and then i want to i want to make my own come ups too but right now it's time to cool it time to come i can fairly say i got a decent amount of inventory i actually got to go back after this after we pack up all these orders i got to get back to the house and then i got to make sure that i get together all of the death pile that i have and get that in a situation where i can list it we got another game that didn't make it out of the restock bin in. here it goes right here call of duty 2 435 this is another buyout game and it sold for 490 plus shipping and i got back three dollars and 74 cents i'm telling y'all dude call of duty it doesn't matter how old it's like grand theft auto they are a very beloved franchise and they sell not for a lot of money but they sell fast we did it y'all we did it we did it we did it we came to the store with the most confusing layout ever but also i finally found the bucket and can you look at i needed three look at this one two the th three look this what are the odds that literally all of them are gone except for three are you bruh they're playing with me they're playing i'm these are coming home we're not playing these i'm not playing these games but now here's another dilemma because some of them are just wires like av cords hdmi cords stuff like that i don't need this giant bucket for hdmi cords so i'm gonna grab a few of i think these small ones uh maybe yeah this is this seems about right do you think i could fit like five of these 
Maybe not, huh? If I could fit five of these on one shelf, that would be amazing. So I found these and these are six and three quarters width, which is basically, we'll say seven inches wide. So I'll be able to fit five, right? But the only thing is, I feel like this being, how long is it? About nine and something, nine and a half, nine and three quarters. So basically 10. I'll be short four inches on how deep it goes in the rack. And I don't know, I just feel like wasting that much space for five of these little buckets. Maybe I should get its own rack, like a skinnier rack just for the smaller stuff. That's what I'm thinking. I think I might've found a winner these can actually go both ways they're about 10 inches wide so i can still fit three on the shelf there'll be a little bit of space but it's all good it's not that deep i don't know how many controllers i can fit a ton of wires in here so that's really good and i could potentially swap out for the control like swap out the big ones for this for controllers i mean i can fit a decent amount of controllers in there i just don't know how many part of me wants to leave these here since i already have three and pick up three of these or six of these or something like that and see how many controllers i can fit a lot of this stuff is all trial and error once you know what you want to get or know what you need to get it's all streamlined and some of it a lot of it is just one time purchase once you cop it boom you're done like i'm thinking about the dukes i can probably fit like what four dukes in here maybe duke is og xbox controller by the way but four five and then here's the price this is two dollars cheaper than the other bins there's so many appealing things about these bins i'm really leaning towards them i think i'm gonna pick a couple up dude okay i am just <laughs> <laughs> we made it back to the storage unit and oh my goodness i'm sitting here trying to get everything set up we have 21 orders for 510 dollars 80 by the way but i couldn't get a look the internet it says there's no internet i'm sitting here struggling trying to figure like what's going on what's going on? i never opened the browser by the way i just see that there's no internet it says can't connect to the internet i'm like what's happening and then finally i just decide to open up the browser and it opens i'm like wait a second what so then i go to a website and it goes so like there's no internet but there is is internet i don't know but why do these frustrating things happen to me i was really there for like 30 minutes maybe even longer and trying to figure out what was going on and i just dude i sold starhawk for 390 plus shipping also i just finished uh editing the video i think that came up before no was it no i don't i don't think it's before this one it's the one before before this one i think i don't know but i'm not gonna do it anymore but i think i i think we're even nope. now i think i don't know i but i'm not doing buy out like separations right now when i'm editing the video and i see that okay wait a second i need to like <laughs> i need to actually uh take it down but for now we're just gonna go over what sold and coincidentally this next order is actually from the buyout number 385 that's 358 okay a little bit of dyslexia wait 390 370 that means 385 is, oop, there it goes right here we sold this for 2490 plus shipping i've been saying things were from the buyout for so long that it feels weird not saying something is from the buyout now like knowing it's from the buyout and not saying oh uh, this came from the buyout and i got this after this and this i sold these uh this resistance games uh resistance fall of man and resistance 2 for 1990 plus shipping but just in case when i'm editing this video and i need to know what if like if we're not there yet i sold this this is part of the bio i sold this for uh 1490 plus shipping so and just in case we still got to track the numbers um they will be up there uh, obviously because you already saw it if we still had to track it being in the future i need to stop filming i need to catch up <laughs> i got a lot going on a lot oh wait a minute look so my sister actually came by shout out to DeJour's flawless finish and so here goes the big bins we're gonna use these for the controllers and then we have the small bins up here look this is looking great look the ps1 power cord boop got the ps1 then we got the universals which these are the double circled ones y'all know these ones right here these can go for a ps3 xbox they just like a lot of them then we got the xbox av i'm gonna have one for hdmi nintendo a lot of them but yeah we're gonna get more of these small ones so she suggested that I have an entire rack just for like the cords, the AV cords and so on and so forth. And then put together another rack over here just for the controllers because there's a, a an onslaught. You got PS1, 2, 3, 4, Xbox 360, 1, Nintendo and all their 5,000 different consoles. Which honestly is not a bad idea. It's just like, dude, I, I, I put so much into this place already. I feel like I've been building this place for, actually I've been building it for about a month now. This next one is another box buyout order and it is shrek we sold this for a 990 plus shipping so it's just like for me like will it ever end will it ever end we sold this freedom fighters for og xbox this actually came part of that like massive 70 game 
the bunch of consoles buyout that I did. And it sold for $9.90 plus shipping. This one kind of surprised me also. An OG Xbox like shooting game made by the makers of Hitman though. And then we got a game that sold from the binder. And I feel like I didn't really explain it very well in my last video about how this binder works. It's not organized per se. Oh, this is actually the game that sold. I sold um, this Need for Speed game, Hot Pursuit for $3.90 plus shipping. But so in the, in the front, we have the PlayStation games. And then you scroll a little bit and you got the xbox games and then you scroll some more and you'll see some like Wii game up oh, there they are you see some Wii games in the back so i kind of like left some separation between each consoles it's just overwhelmed with the amount of playstation games that are in here again i don't know if it's the best thing to do like the best option it works for me and i can find the games fairly easily so right now i've really honestly no complaints with it i sold the matt hoffman bmx never got a chance to play it like i said i wanted to but it's all good um we sold this for 990 plus shipping my my problem is i'll say i want to play a game and i'm like yeah i definitely like 24 i've sold both of those games twice and both times that i saw the game i was like oh yeah i definitely want to play it but it sold so fast that i was like oh wait i gotta list this but when i list it put it in the plastic thing and put the label on it to get ready to go so i'm like wait a minute i can't play it it's, it's packed up and ready to go the way my brain be braining dude i don't know i have no explanation for it you just got to take it as it is we got another bile order and i see it poking this is a marvel oh this is kind of stuck in here a little bit it's got a marvel Wii game game right here this sold for 490 plus shipping all right we got another game that was listed relative relatively no relatively recently uh i think i wanted to say fairly and relatively but we sold rock band um i was about to say 417 my brain is all over the place right now so this rock band game for 490 plus shipping and this was part of the buyout it's i've been having long days long days of just trying to get everything all situated and figured out i am very happy and pleased with the way that is coming out though so oh this is something and I don't see often these days a console sale. I sold this PS3 for $79.90 plus shipping. I feel like I don't know, maybe I'm just not having good luck or the price of ps3s are going down i used to be able to sell any ps3 doesn't matter for about a hundred dollars plus shipping 120 dollars plus shipping but now i've done a new pricing strategy where the 120 gig and the 160 gig i do for it uh 79 and then like the i forget exactly how it goes i have to go in and look but it goes from 79 89 and then 99 for the different ps3s with the 320 gig being the 99 dollar one then we got kind of like a miscellaneous sale right here i sold these two wee wheels <laughs> that was funny to say i sold these for 990 plus shipping I, I sold a combo of four for 1990 plus shipping so i was like hmm i have two so let me cut that in half and it worked oh my goodness speaking of we i started separating all the we stuff that i have back at the house and there is just an overwhelming amount of we controllers power blocks not even just we i have og nintendo controllers i have a just a ton of Wii sensor bars. I mean, I do have a good amount of Wiis. What is this? Seven Wiis, which I didn't even know I had that many. But I mean, this is good that I have this amount of Wiis. Yo, I'm just not realizing. Why is it that this is on this side? This They must be different vert. Whoa. Oh, this is the disc. Yeah, th is this different vert? Look at that. I've never noticed that before. Interesting. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 for the PS2. I sold for $590 plus shipping. But uh, this is part of the buyout as well. well but dude yeah i have a ton a ton a ton of nintendo stuff and i can honestly take up an entire wall a whole wall with just the amount of nintendo stuff that i have so with that being said the plan is going to be to just fill up a bin and then refill it as i need i'll have like access like if you think about it each of these only needs to go to one con so i have how many in here like freaking maybe 20 that you can probably fit in here not to be fair it is a mix between og xbox and uh xbox 360 but still even if there's 10 and 10 i currently don't have that many consoles and i don't think i'm ever gonna have well anytime soon have that many on hand so filling up a bin with as many uh wires as i possibly can should be good enough for what i have right now and then i'll change and make updates as i grow but for now i think this is a good i think my sister's doing really good um i sold dragon age for the xbox 360 for 390 plus shipping Shout out to my sister. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so that whole time, my phone was actually dying and I kept on having to plug it into my laptop and 
you know, getting up and then plugging it back in. But what I didn't realize was that my generator was also dying too. So we had to make a quick audible, come back here so I can charge the generator. And dude, I have no idea how long that's gonna take. I'm not gonna charge it to max. I'm gonna charge it just enough so I can, I need to get these orders out today. This is what I was talking about though with the amount of Nintendo stuff I have. This is just the controllers and nunchucks. And then we have, this is stuff I didn't separate yet, but there's a ton of sensor bars and accessories in here. And this is a mix between the AV cords. We got some uh, some DS power cords. And then we have like a bunch of Wii power cables. There's just a ton of Wii stuff. So yeah, my sister's idea of having an entire rack just for like just the controllers. And then another entire rack just for like the cords and stuff like that that's i'm gonna go with that and we are back in the storage unit my little generator only got the charge up halfway so we got to make this quick we actually only had a couple left which is kind of crazy but i sold uh the beatles rock band this is sealed which is probably the only reason why it sold for 990 plus shipping harry potter quidditch world cup i've sold this game so many times the hp games sell really fast this sold for 490 plus shipping they're not big money sales but they're fast sales they come in they go out just like that actually what's pretty funny is that um so it's after five and that my my local post office closes at 5 p.m i sold uh transformers dark of the moon for 1490 plus ship and i got this during the summer at a yard sale where i got a bunch of transformers games transformers games are they're typically fast Whoa. Okay, I dropped that. Transformers games are another bread and butters. If you can find them, look them up. They're pretty good. I'd say go for like $2, $3 on what you want to pay for them because most of them you can get about $15 plus for. But yeah, it's actually after 5 p.m. My post office is already closed. I'm going to pull these orders. I'm going to pack them, print the shipping label. It's going to show up as shipped on time. And then I'm going to send them out tomorrow. Look, man, it's not honest work, but it gets the job done, right? Okay, I sold this for $4.90 plus shipping. Uh, Yeah. Oh, look at that. We got two console sales we need p14 here we go this is 160 gig ps3 that i sold for 79.90 plus shipping dude i'm slick mad there was only what did i pull just like four or five orders something like that everything died on me my phone my generator it all died and i only had like five orders left hopefully the next time y'all tune in this entire thing will be set up and i'll have a better situation going on over here but until then we're just gonna have to see i'll catch y'all